so already we have learned so many things in probability probability distribution today we'll talk about mathematical expectation so i will divide the chapter expectation in three parts so this is your mathematical expectation one after that i will talk about moments givenness kurtosis and there will be expectation two okay so before we start let me start with a very beautiful uh, story not story it's a real fact what is the origin of mathematical expectation so back in the 17th century pascal maybe you have heard about his name pascal was a famous mathematician from the france was challenged by his friend antony with a gambling problem and you know that the origin of probability as actually from the gambling problem the problem was that of two players who want to fin finish a game early and given the current circumstances of the game want to divide the stakes fairly okay just using the word fairly right based on the chances each has of winning the game from that point now the question is how should they find this fair amount so this is the big question in those days fair amount that means some preferences so in 1654 he corresponded with farmer louis de farmer he is also a french he was actually a lawyer advocate and also a mathematician you know there are so many important uh, applications of farmer farmer's little theorem number theory specially applications of number theory and he has applications in probability also it is in the discussion about this problem so he was discuss with farmer about that gambling problem that the notion of expected value or mathematical expectation is introduced so with the discussion of farmer the notion of expected value or mathematical expectation was first introduced right but the idea of mathematical expectation is often attributed to dutch mathematician christian huygens huygens for making systematic and definitive the idea of mathematical expectation in his book on probability theory it's a very famous book on reasoning in games of chance that is he published in the year 1657 so that was the origin of mathematical expectation the term mathematical expectation or expected value now let us come to the theoretical development or definition some definition some theoretical aspects so let us first define the mathematical expectation let x be a random variable define on an even space omega and g is a mapping from r to r be a continuous function then the distribution of the random variable gx is completely determined by that of x so the mathematical expectation or mean value of the random variable gx is given by expectation of gx it is given by expectation of gx so if i talk about a random variable y then the expectation of y will be denoted by e of y if you have to you have to put a curly brackets inside that you have to put y okay so for discrete case let us come to the discrete case as we are talking about random variables there will be two types of random variable discrete random variable and continuous random variable 
so if x is a discrete random variable right if x is a discrete random variable so in that case expectation of gx is equal to summation r equal to minus infinity to infinity gx r f r that is summation there is a product of gx r into f r where f r is the probability mass function if fr is the probability mass function for the discrete set of points x minus 2 x 1 already we have this theoretical knowledge in the previous classes so probability of x equal to xr equal to fr right this is probability mass function and we are very much aware of the fact that fr is a term related to fr that is the probability mass function is a term related to discrete distribution and provided the series is absolutely convergent so this is an infinite series provided the series is absolutely convergent then this expectation is given by summation r equal to minus infinity to infinity gxr fr and next in the continuous case if you are talking about a continuous case then expectation of gx is given by minus infinity to infinity gx fx dx gx into fx dx when x is a continuous random variable and the probability distribution function is given by and the probability distribution function uh, f actually the f is the probability density function probability density function and we know that f is related to the density function is a term related to continuous distribution so in the continuous case you have a integration in the discrete case you have a summation provided that the integral is absolutely convergent so this is the definition of the expectation mathematical expectation if the series or the integral is not absolutely convergent we say that the expectation doesn't exist now the question is here we have a series this is one suppose equation one and here you have a integration in uh, number two so if the series is not absolutely convergent if the integral is not absolutely convergent what happens the expectation do not exist we say the expectation do not exist okay so for existence of the expectation these are the important conditions now let us have some properties on expectation expectation of c is c where c is a constant if there is a constant multiplying uh, multiplication with the random variable then uh, uh, expectation of e c c will be c that is equal to c expectation of gx where c is a constant and expectation of series of random variables sum of the expectation of sum of random variables g1 g2 gn or we can say random functions because random variables are actually the functions because random variable you know that that there is a mapping or function okay from event space to the real number so this can be split into uh, expectation of g1 expectation of g2 plus etc expectation of gn and also the fourth property is that expectation of gx modulus of expectation of gx is less than equal to expectation of mod gx and the fifth one you expect if gx random uh, x positive then expectation of gx greater equal to zero and equal to will be will hold if gx equal to zero okay everywhere so these are the properties of expectation provided that the expectation involved exist in all the cases the expectation must exist right now let us define the mean what is the mean of a distribution what do you mean by mean of a distribution you might have some concept of the statistics simple statistics that mean of the distribution is the actually the central part of the distribution if you have a data then mean actually the measures of central tendency i will describe that now mean can be defined with the help of the expectation how let x be a random variable Define on a given event space omega the mean of the distribution of x denoted by m 
is defined by m equal to expectation of x provided expectation of x exists so mean is nothing but your expectation so your mathematical expectation is actually the mean of the distribution so for a discrete you can calculate the mean for the continuous you can calculate the mean so for discrete your mean will be this one mean or uh, this formula uh, for discrete for discrete you can apply this formula summation and for continuous you can apply this formula so mean is nothing but your expectation of x now you look at that already x if x is discrete this is the form mean of expectation of x is summation over r xr fr okay now fr is your probability mass function so xr is a point of the spectrum of x and summation includes all points of the spectrum of x and the series this is absolutely convergent just like we uh, described in the previous slides that it should be absolutely convergent and in continuous then your mean is nothing but your minus infinity to infinity x fx so there is a multiplication in this case your gx is actually x look at that your gx your gx the random variable is your actually x r so it's for all r right and here you have gx is actually x so it is minus infinity to x fx dx so this is the mean of the distribution in this way you can calculate the mean of the distribution where f is the probability density function now what is the significance of the mean of a distribution this is very important concept the mean can be interpreted as the average value of x which we can expect per trial of the corresponding random experiment in an infinite sequence of trials of the experiment further the mean represents the center of mass of the distribution of the probability mass on a straight line that means you have a straight line if you have a straight line and the probability of mass prob actually your distribution probability mass is distributed along the straight line then mean represents the center of mass of the distribution mean represents the center of mass of the distribution so that is why mean is a measure of central tendency of the distribution you will see in statistics there is a chapter of central tendency where mean is a part of the distribution actually mean is a calculation average and median and mode are the positional average so these are all measures of central tendency because all the data are clustered around and mean median mode are central part of the distribution that is why these are called the measures of central tendency of the distribution so that is the significance of the mean of a distribution now let me talk about variance of a distribution what is the variance of a distribution also one more point i can add here suppose uh, i was talking about mean for any mass distribution we know the usefulness and importance of characteristic like center of gravity the moment of inertia about some line etc right so for a probability mass distribution also we are interested in, in finding such characteristics so next is the variance next is the variance what is the variance variance of let x be a random variable just already defined on the event space omega and for which mean exist what is the mean mean is nothing but your expectation of x right okay for discrete it is a summation xr fi for discrete it is summation x i fi if the summation is over i and for continuous it is minus infinity to infinity x fx dx right so this is the mean now what is variance variance of x is nothing but your var x it is denoted by var x var of x and expectation of x minus m whole square 
where m is the mean of x m is the mean of x provided this expectation of x minus whole square exists so let, let us define for discrete case it will be xr minus m whole square fr where the summation runs over r provided the summation includes all points of the spectrum of x and this series is absolutely convergent and number two uh, in the continuous case this variance is denoted by expectation of x minus m whole square minus infinity to infinity x minus m whole square fx where fx is the probability density function of a distribution and m is the expectation of x so this is the definition of variance in the discrete case and this is the definition of variance in the continuous case right now the question is what is the significance why you are going to find out the variance of a distribution why what what does it represent that may be the question so the answer is the variance of a random significance of the variance will give you the answer the variance of a random variable x gives the mean value of the square of the deviation you see that uh, mean value of the square of the deviation so that means x is the spectrum value and m is the mean if you take the difference that gives you the deviation from the mean so it gives you the measures of dispersion how dispersed your data is that information is given by the variance so actually this gives you the measures of dispersion so uh, square of the mean consequently a low value of variance of x indicates that there is a high concentration of the probability mass near the mean and high value of variance of x indicates that there is a low concentration of the probability mass near the mean f thus variance of x gives an inverse measures of concentration of the probability mass near the mean actually it gives you the measures of dispersion how your data scattered from the mean it gives us this information and what is your standard deviation standard deviation is a positive square root of variance standard deviation is positive square root of variance so standard deviation is denoted by sigma it is a positive square root of variance right this is the thing so what is the physical interpretation of the variance the physical inter just like your physical interpretation of expectation is mean is center of gravity the physical interpretation of variance is that it represents the moment of inertia of the probability probability mass distribution about a line through the center of mass and perpendicular the, to the line of the distribution just like if you describe a physical system what is the moment of inertia moment of inertia is denoted by m i r i square that is m k square right this is your moment of inertia in physics or mechanics so what is your moment of inertia there is a mass distribution about a line so it's if you take the summation of all the distances square of the distances and the product of the sum mass and you take the summation that will give you the moment of inertia so here you have the same physical concept so it represents the moment of inertia of the probability mass distribution about a line of the center of mass through the center of mass the line passes through the center of mass and perpendicular to the line of the distribution of x so it gives you the same physical interpretation of the variance and what is the standard deviation just already i described this is another measures of dispersion this is another measures of dispersion but mean is the measures of central tendency mean is a central tendency but this is measures of dispersion <laughs> now there is a theorem for calculation of standard deviation 
uh, let x be our under variable such that expectation of x square exists then variance of x is expectation of x square minus m square and that is equal to expectation of x minus x into x minus 1 minus m into m minus 1 uh, so this will be valid because you see if you expand this expectation of this can be written as x square minus x right and minus m square minus plus m right and expectation you can split expectation you can expand so it can be written as expectation of x square minus expectation of x minus m square plus m so you expectation of x is nothing but your m mm cancel so you are remain with expectation of x square minus m square so this is valid right this is valid variance of x is this result so I will use this result in finding several mean and uh, finding several expectation of different distributions. Let us first talk about the mean and variance of the binomial distribution and how to find them. So what is binomial distribution? Already you learned them the discrete random variable x it is a discrete probability distribution and its uh, probability at x equal to i uh, the PMA probability mass function is given by f i equal to n c i p to the power i 1 minus p whole to the power n minus i and the spectrum points are i equal to 0 1 to n and 0 else y and 1 minus p is the failure you know that this problem is applicable to success failure if p is the probability of success u is the probability of failure and you have only two parameters n p n and p n is a positive integer and p is a probability that lies between 0 and 1 so there are only two distribution only two parameters n p now how will you calculate the mean it very easy to calculate the mean m equal to expectation of x already we have learned from the definition of mean and expectation of x is summation i equal to 0 uh, what is your expectation of x x i into f i right this is the product summation so x i is nothing but your i so you have i into f i is this probability mass function n c i p to the power i so i have written this in the first line i i runs from 0 to n but i equal to 0 okay it will uh, give the first term will be 0 so let's start the summation from i equal to 1 to n so i and this is n c i is nothing but your factorial n by factorial r n minus i and if you simplify uh, you will get n p if you simplify and if you change i minus 1 as j and do the calculation you will see simply it is a binomial it is a binomial the last the second last line is the binomial distribution so you can write p plus 1 minus p whole to the power n minus 1 because the it is the distribution it is the expansion of this binomial expression p plus 1 minus p whole to the power n minus 1 so that is nothing but your np results into np so what is the mean of the binomial distribution np is the mean of the binomial distribution so you have to remember that np is the mean of the binomial distribution so what is the variance of the binomial distribution you can do the similar calculation you can calculate x into x minus 1 so in this way i into i minus 1 so you can do the take the summation you can do the manipulation and you will arrive at n into n minus 1 into p square and if you substitute in the theorem just already i described about the theorem this theorem if you substitute this theorem then you have the variance the variance is given by npq or npq is your probability of failure so 1 minus p this is your variance and what is your standard deviation then standard deviation is nothing but your root over npq positive square root of npq right so this is the calculation of mean variance and standard deviation of binomial distribution 
next let me talk about poisson distribution so i i, I shall be talking about two uh, discrete distribution in this lecture so the probability mass function is given by e to the power minus mu mu to the power i by factorial i okay and mu is the only parameter of the poisson distribution and mu is positive and your spectrum points are 0 1 2 etc okay countably infinite so what is the mean of the poisson mu uh, distribution mu variate uh, so mean is given by i e to the power minus mu i into f i if i is the probability mass function this is your probability mass function right so if you take the summation i equal to 0 to infinity and do the same process you do the simple uh, summation if you take the summation if you take the manipulation you will get mu this proof is here for you you look at that uh, first term will be 0 so you start from summation from 1 to infinity and you can take the y i minus 1 as any other uh, variable j j starts from 0 to infinity you will get the series this is nothing but your exponential series right this is nothing but your exponential series so e to the power mu and finally your mean of the distribution will give you mu so mean of the poisson distribution is mu what is the variance of the poisson distribution you can check that we, uh, you can calculate expectation of x into x minus 1 that will be given by mu square if you calculate in the similar process and if you take the variance sigma square that uh, using the formulae you will get mu so poisson distribution is a as a di distribution whose mean and variance are same and standard deviation is given by standard deviation is given by root over mu okay so this is the calculation of the discrete distribution and for your knowledge you can try to calculate the mean and standard deviation of a continuous distribution that is a normal distribution you can check the calculation for a uh, okay let me show you one continuous distribution for you so uh, i will give you a hint for that so for a uh, rectangular distribution what is the probability density function pdf right pdf of a rectangular distribution is given by 1 by b minus a right a less than x less than b right and 0 elsewhere okay 0 elsewhere now what is the mean of this distribution if you want to calculate what is the mean of this distribution so mean is nothing but your expectation of x it is a continuous distribution so you have to take the integration minus infinity to infinity x fx dx this is the formula for uh, obtaining the mean okay so but here you have an interval a to b so you can stick to a to b x and your fx is given by 1 by b minus a right 1 by b minus a dx right and if you calculate 1 by b minus a so x square by 2 it will be b square minus a square by 2 right if you take the limits of integration and finally you have the mean as b plus a by 2 this is the mean of the distribution this is the mean of the distribution so similarly you can calculate the variance of x how will you calculate the variance of x variance of x can be calculated by expectation of first you have to calculate this result x into x minus 1 into m into m minus 1 minus m into m minus 1 so you can calculate this result using this formula and expectation okay so this is how you can calculate the mean of a continuous distribution now what is the mean and variance standard deviation of a normal distribution you know that normal distribution is known as m sigma distrib sigma square distribution so x follows if i say x is a random variable that follows normal distribution having mean m and standard deviation sigma then x follows actually approximately normal distribution so mean of the normal distribution is m and standard deviation of the normal distribution is sigma okay so that's all in this lecture so this lecture in this lecture you have learned about the expectation 
and what is the definition of expectation in the discrete case continuous case mean of the distribution variance of the distribution standard deviation in different cases discrete continuous and how to calculate the mean of a discrete distribution and of a continuous distribution okay so thank you all of you for your patience